I am going to explain about SAP LSMW step-by-step -step instructions. Hope this will be helpful. SAP LSMW step-by-step -step instructions. The LSMW, Legacy System Migration Workbench, is a free SAP-based tool that supports the one-time or periodic transfers of data from non-SAP systems to SAP. The LSMW can be used in conjunction with the Data Transfer Workbench. The LSMW assists in organizing your data migration project and guides you through the process by using a clear sequence of steps. The most common conversion rules are predefined. Reusable conversion rules assure consistent data conversion for different data objects. LSMW, an abbreviation for Legacy System Migration Workbench, is a tool in SAP which is used to migrate legacy data into SAP. It is a very important tool and easy to learn and master it. LSMW has a recording tool which can record the transaction and the fields to be uploaded. Thus upload of master data and transaction data is made very simple in this tool. You can use this tools in almost all modules for upload of master data and to some extent transaction data also. The LSMW performs the following steps. Reads the legacy data from one or several files, such as spreadsheets or sequential files. Converts the data from source format to target format. Imports the data using standard interfaces, batch input, direct input, BOPI, IDOC, etc. Here is one of the LSMW project to walk you through all the steps. Here you have to first define project, sub-project and object. It is mainly for grouping the objects. One can have multiple sub-projects and object in a project. Execute the transaction and you will get navigated to the second screen, LSMW Workbench. Here one can choose the required steps by pressing the user menu button. The following 13 steps are sufficient for support person for the LSMW update. Step 1. Maintain object attributes. Define the method of upload. IE batch recording, direct update, BOPI etc. Go inside this step and choose the radio button for the options. This document explains only about the transaction recording method. One can toggle between the display or change option using the standard button. Select the object type and import method as batch input recording. Once you have selected this click on the overview button so that you can go to the recoding overview. Example of a recording. After recording default those fields that you want to update slash use in batch update. Step 2. Maintain source structures. Give any name, which can be easily identifying the input data structure. It is equivalent to defining an internal table in an ABAP program. Can define multiple structures also, if required. Step 3. Maintain source fields. Define all those fields that you are giving in the input file here. The order should match the order of fields in the file. Otherwise, it will get updated into the wrong fields. Most of the errors might be in this step. Step 4. Maintain structure relations. Define the source and destination structure relationships. Step 5. Maintain field mapping and conversion rules. You have to define the mapping rules, for example. Customer equals customer. Or if any default value has to be passed, or some fixed value is given like that. Company code can be a default value if processing for a particular company code. After making all the mappings and initialization you can even do a syntax check to see your mappings are correct or not. Step 6. Specify files. You have to specify the input file location in this step. Step 7. Assign files. Step 8. Read data. Reading the file to the source structure. Step 9. Display read data. This is very useful step where we can review the field values that got read. Step 10. Convert data. Converting the source structure data to the destination by applying the conversion rules that have mentioned in step 4 and step 5. Step 11. Display converted data. Also useful for checking the values converted. Step 12. Create batch input session. 
This will create a BI session in SM35. Step 13. Run Batch Input Session. This step will call SM35.1 can run the session in SM35. You can run in foreground, error mode or background. Preferably run in foreground for testing some few records a euro once confirmed the update then run in background. How to transport the LSMW project from test to production system. The LSMW projects can be transported between systems by a export slash import method. You can export the entire project as a text file and that can be imported to another system. Thank you. Thank you.